Running free, always running free. I wanted to bring Sly and Robbie over from Jamaica and do the Royal Albert Hall. Well, got a phone call first. Hey, Robbie, we're going to the album. Why you play Ray Ray Ray? And why you be involved as part of the production team? I would say, Ali, anything for you. That was it. When you're ready. And he said, that time, I said, we are there. And we were there. Ali came down to Jamaica and we helped him work on the album. And um, he has asked us to come in and sit in with him at the gig at the Royal Albert Hall and play a few songs. And, you know, I mean, we have to come, you know? With Sly and Robbie, and myself, I've got Betty McLean, Beverly Nice, Lamar, Smokey Robinson, and lots of guests. That will be a wicked gig. Running free, always running free, always running free, always running free.
I've known uh, Ali Campbell's music for as long as I can remember, but I'd never had the honour of working with him until I got this phone call um, saying, Ali wants you on his new record. Uh, I got the, the track sent over, heard it, loved it, got into the vibe of it, and uh, of course that led to the, the recording session. Got behind the microphone, did my bit, you know, click, 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 we were all done. And I just sat down and enjoyed listening back to the track and, and just enjoyed hanging out with Ali. It was absolutely fantastic. Here we are today at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, I'm thrilled to be back here. It was only um, in November 2007 that I was here doing my own show. So I know the excitement, I know the venue, I know grandness of it and yet the intimacy of it. The audience is almost on top of you when you're on the stage and it, it's just an amazing thrill to be here.
I mean, I've worked with Ali Campbell since 1991. I was an assistant engineer in UB40 Studio. So working with Ali is nothing new in that sense. I've recorded with him, mixed records for him. So and it's, it's always been a pleasure. I started working at Depp Recording Studios, which was the base for UB40 back in 1990, straight out of college, all excited. So, and I remember Ali coming in on one of my sessions in his studio and saying, you got a good voice, <laughs> you have. I've been here today, as I don't know if you've seen, I brought my family along, you know, it's not every day you're at the Royal Albert Hall. But um, so it's nice, it's just nice to be out and amongst Sly, Sly and Robbie, um, Lamar, Beverly Knight, and all the musicians as well. You know, there's a real nice team of people to be working with, so it's a pleasure. Please welcome Biddy McLean! Reggae Passy, let me hear you! Birmingham Passy, let me hear you! Reggae Passy, let me hear you! Let me see some hands in you!
Birmingham Posse, let me hear you. Ali and his people get in contact with my management and um, they asked me if, I, if I'd do a song with Ali. And, you know, I, I, I was thrilled. I thought, why not? It's not every day you get a, a call from someone of the status of Ali saying, oh, just be on an album with me. And they said that, you know, he'd love me to be involved in the, in the project and, and in particular, this song, I'll be standing by. He obviously knows I'm a bit of a fan of Al Green and Marvin Gaye and, you know, Sam Cooke and that old school type of vibe. You know, here we are now at, at Royal Albert Hall and, you know, he's invited me down and, you know, I'm part of the lineup today. I've just been on stage, done a sound check and, you know, the, it, it just sounds great. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Lamar! Yeah.
You wouldn't think. Katie Mellua with Ali Campbell and Sly and Robbie. She's so far removed from what we're doing. Have a listen, yeah, have a listen to the last chorus. I think we've all grown up with UB40's music, um, you know, and Ali's work. It's kind of, it's just always been around. To be working with Ali is, is something I never thought would happen. I think she's done a great job and made it into a totally different number. It just sounded really interesting and, and quite an incredible thing to sort of uh, work on, because I've never really done this style of music at all. I am a huge reggae fan, but it's just something that I myself have never really done. I think it's a, it's a, a great genre to sort of be tiptoeing in.
We got hold of Smokey on a whim. We'd done being with you, and then we heard Smokey Robinson was coming to England to play at the Royal Albert Hall. And I said, nothing ventures, you know. Ask him if he'd, you know, be interested in doing something. I was thinking of him doing something maybe on being with you, but uh, we ended up putting him on Hallelujah Time, which is a Bob Marley number. All the songs were great, but I was more familiar with that one, and we didn't have much time for me to try to completely learn another song. That was just an absolute joy. You know, we had a couple of hours in the studio there, and, you know, he walked in and he did it, and he walked out. The way he walks in, he was so relaxed. It was just so uh, easy for me and him. You know what I mean? Because he's a, you know, he's a professional. He's an old soldier, isn't he? A legend. As you all know, Smokey's a bit ill. So I'm gonna do this track for Smokey Robinson. I hope he gets well soon. I'd rather he stays home and gets well, wouldn't you? This is called Hallelujah.
He's such a sweet guy, he's got a great sense of humour and he made me feel very good about uh, singing next to him and I was a bit in awe of him really. So this is pretty amazing. <laughs> After 25 years in the music business I end up at the Albert Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome on stage Miss Kim Wilde!
I have 
Peace. Um, well, basically, um, I grew up in the same neighborhood as Ali. Recently, I got a phone call saying that Ali just released a new album and he was doing a show, and if I would, you know, be a guest. So I was like, definitely. You know, I asked which song, you know, would we be doing? They said, um, Baby Come Back, and we'd never actually performed the song together. It was number one for four weeks in the UK and number one in many other places in the world, but we've never ever performed it. So, you know, tonight at the Albert Hall in London will be the first time that we actually, you know, get a chance to do it. I walked in today, you know, and it's just a very beautiful venue, very beautiful venue, and I can just tell it's gonna be great. The sound system just sounds off the hook, so it's gonna go down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you now welcome on the stage, all the way from L.A., this is Pato Benta! Yeah! Yeah. Goodbye, bye, Goodbye, bye, bye, bye.
Hi, how are you doing, everybody? <laughs> it's been a fantastic night so far. It's a great buzz out there. This is Chanel. <laughs> Chanel Sinclair, extraordinaire. This is Phoebe Edwards. Hi. And this is the baddest female tenor in the land. That's right. This is Sharon Hernandez. Woo, woo. That's right. This is Daniel Squid. Fantastic keyboardist, singer, songwriter, producer. Fantastic. PJ. That's PJ. It's PJ. PJ. Uh, that's Stephen Denton. Yeah. No, no, no. Everybody knows Stephen Denton. Well, not everyone, really. And that, that's Lorraine Edwards. It's a most fantastic venue and event to be a part of, and I'm so glad to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. And just because no one's saying it, I'm LaSalle, <laughs> LaSalle Horton, um, vocalist extraordinaire. All right. Uh, what else? <laughs> no, humble, humble. humble. Oh, director, humble. The best, <laughs> the best director ever.
Wait, wait.